Hi, so in this video I want to go through how to actually remote desktop to a Azure instance, uh, a virtual machine instance, once you've set it up but your corporate environment is blocking it either by via a proxy server or via firewall. So in my corporate environment, um, they, they block a lot of the ports. Uh, so when I am setting up my uh, VM, for example, uh, so I set up this DB1. Uh, you'll notice in my endpoint specifications, I actually uh, set up the public port to be 443. Now, you don't want to use 443 for every virtual machine that you have because it might turn out that your other VMs would have to use 443 for SSL. So what I do is for a particular uh, server, I will have 443 set up for my remote desktop. So I'll remote desktop into that server and then once I'm on the network, once I'm on the virtual network after the RDP, uh, for this VM, I will go into that VM and I will remote desktop uh, normally via 330, uh, 3389 into the other uh, desktops. So you'll notice um, in my other instances, in my other VMs, I don't have 443 for my remote desktop. I have the random port. But I don't even RDP th via this public port. Uh, I RDP via 3389 after I've, uh, I've RDP into the network via this VM. So this actually provides me with the public port for SSL uh, for these app servers and web servers that I have. So here's the web server and you'll notice I have it open for uh, SSL here for 443 and uh, port 80. Um, and once again I uh, RDP uh, once I'm already on the virtual network to 3389. So let me show you what I'm what I mean by that is I have basically this one machine on the network that is the entry point to the virtual network that I have uh, right up on the cloud. So this is my remote desktop machine. So I'll only ever remote desktop into this machine and after I have remote desktop into this that machine I'll uh, log into that machine and from that machine I'll remote desktop here to here. So I save my port 443's uh, for those uh, instances where I have to use it for the web server. So let me demo that. Um, I am uh, gonna log in here so you'll notice I'm logging into DB1. I'm gonna click connect. And it is going to connect now. So it's uh, logging into. Okay. So now I'm I'm already on my DB1 virtual machine. And if you notice here, this is where I simply, once again, once I'm on this VM here, I remote desktop to either my web one or app one, from here. So uh, let me just do that. Uh, I I think you get the point where I um, reserving just one VM as the entry point to the virtual network on the cloud. So now I'm simply remote desktoping to the other machines, RDPing to the other machines via this machine. And uh, there you go, that's really the concept. Um, it's taken a little bit of while because I just uh, booted the server so it might fail. Um, if I go back here, uh, let's see. So uh, they're running, but I just booted up the servers. So let me, oh, uh, there you go. So uh, yeah, that, that's basically what I mean. So this here is actually the desktop. I could lower that desktop and log on to the other, web, uh, the other machine. 
Uh, so again, what this does is it saves you the 443 port for the other uh, VMs uh, to do uh, SSL on it. Um, so you, you're, you're not wasting that port simply for RDP. So let, let me uh, demonstrate that by creating a new, uh, when I'm creating a new VM here. Um, and you'll notice here's where I set that up so uh, for setting up my VM as the entry VM uh, to my RDP I would change this port to 443 because it's not blocked by any firewalls and uh, usually they're handled by uh, the proxy servers. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, so I'll just click next, 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 and then I'll create the VM. Uh, so that's what I do for uh, how to RDP and uh, get around the firewall issue, but not wasting the port 443s for the other VMs. All right, uh, I think you get the point, and thank you for watching.